Falcon Sledge. I'm Austringer, and today we are going to be doing a single video review on the Flight Forge F-16 ICP. The reason it's a single video review is that while being very useful, the device is pretty simple. Um, just a disclaimer, I was sent this ICP for free for testing. However, with this particular device, I was given the opportunity to purchase it at a discount if I wanted to keep it, otherwise send it back. So let's, uh, let's take a look at the device. The F-16 ICP is this set of buttons and controls right here in the center of your view. You use this to enter data and make changes in the aircraft. In the Viper, you use this on startup and frequently through your flight. For instance, if you need to change your navs, if you need to mark targets, if you need to change modes, or if you need to change your radio settings and more. So you can imagine having to reach down and move my mouse left of my throttle or before having to remove my hand from the stick and use the mouse on my desk to interact with this device became extremely time consuming, not to mention not very ergonomic. There are options to build them. And if you're really good at building things and you have a 3D printer, it's not too challenging. But most of you don't have these things or possess those skills. When you look at purchasing options for these ICPs, you see them from prices ranging from $200 to $600, which for many pushes this quite important piece of kit for the Viper down the priority list. And then through the wonderful Hotas Hosa Simpid Discord, I ran into a vendor called Flightforge, who specializes in affordable flight sim hardware. And if you know me, I am a sucker for a great value. This F-16 ICP is only $90. Well, then naturally you're giving up a lot for that price, right? Well, let's talk about that. There are some differences between this unit and the real thing. The dauber switch in the F-16 is like a four-way hat with a joystick attached. In the case of the Flight Forge Sims ICP, it uses a D-pad. In the same vein, the Drift Warning Reset switch is a rocker instead of a switch, as is the Gain Auto switch. In the end, that's the real differences. Other than those, this device operates just like the real ICP. Mounting this device is fairly simple. You can just place it on your desk with the included legs. But those who know my channel know that I can't really do it that way. I reused a mount from my Next Level Racing cockpit and created a 3D printed mount for the ICP and mount it into the cockpit. This puts it in a pretty good position for similar use to the real aircraft. Setting this up is really quite simple. You just plug it in. Yeah, that's it. You'll find a device called Arduino Leonardo in the DCS device list. And then you simply go into the button assignments and assign each one of the buttons. There's also a profile available from FlightForge to do this for you automatically. I chose to set it up manually. Here, as I start the Viper, you can see how much easier it is for me to use the ICP over using the mouse to perform the same action. It saves me a lot of time and improves immersion. Let's talk about its construction and levels of quality. This is a 3D printed device. The quality of the print is good. It appears to be FDM printing, as you can see the layer lines. As someone who loves printing things and using them, this doesn't really bother me. And for the cost, I think it's a great value. The buttons appear to be printed in white and then painted. This allows the built-in backlight to shine through and illuminate the lettering on the buttons. The buttons are tact switches and they have a good tactile feel. The buttons do tend to wiggle a little bit, but this is totally expected given the type of construction. So, given all of this information, should you buy the Flight Forge F-16 ICP? Well, that's going to depend on your goals with your sim pit. If you're building an identical to real life $20,000 plus F-16 cockpit, well, perhaps not. But if you're like most people and you're buying a whole lot of simulator equipment on a budget and you want to have all the functionality and not having to spend a whole lot of money, then absolutely. The biggest advantage to the Flight Forge F-16 ICP is its value, and I absolutely recommend this device. So much so that I purchased it, 
and the link for you to purchase it is down in the description down below. Do you own this device? Feel free to leave your opinion, comments, or emotional outbursts in the comment section down below. If you haven't subscribed already and you enjoy this type of content, please hit that subscribe button. It won't cost you anything, but it certainly does help us out so that we can continue providing you with this content for free. There are other ways you can help if you want, and that's in the description as well. Remember that I stream each Saturday at 6 p.m. Mountain Time, so come and join us. We have a good time. I enjoy interacting with all of you. I'm happy to answer questions. I hope you fly safe, have fun, and most of all, have a great day.